going on guys? Welcome back to 100% Chelsea and welcome to another video where it's another bit of a discussion between me and Lewis. Uh, first things we're going to say, uh, you know, if it's echoey, very sorry, uh, we are filming in the flat. We are looking into, you know, yeah. using a studio though, so yeah, going on up in the world. Uh, but other than that as well, obviously, big thing which we want to talk about, thank you for 50,000 subscribers. Um, thank you. Yeah, it was a... Big thing for us. I'm not gonna lie. I will live with you. I did cry. It was tears of joy. I was very happy with that after the, the work that this guy's put in. Lawrence, Jack, Chris, all the guys, other regulars as well. Jay, who's started doing our edits the past few games, made the channel look amazing. Like all love the you, stuff. We we do love you to bits. Jay Zink, go check out his channel. Um, but uh, as well as that, you know, it's uh, it's been quite a journey. So. Thank you very much for 50,000 subscribers. Next target is 75, so if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to 100 Chelsea. It's the big red button down there. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well, so you know when we upload a video, and if we go live, because we do like to go live sometimes, don't we, ladies? Yeah. We do, yeah. But other than that, let's talk a little bit about what we're gonna be doing today. So obviously, um, there's some comments that came out yesterday regarding Thibaut Courtois, uh, where he said, my heart is in Madrid. So, um, you know, obviously, someone spoken to him, and asked, is this true? All this kind of stuff. Um, the links I've seen have been the mirror and uh, not exactly reliable sources who do like to twist the story and uh, yeah. spin the ball of yarn. Um, but, I mean, what, 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 what's happened? Give us your take on it. Um, with me, with me I, I do think that Courtois, as it sounds right now, has his heart set on re signing with Chelsea. But, it is pretty obvious that, in terms of long-term future, he, he does see himself going back to Real Madrid. No, Real Madrid. He does see him returning back to Madrid sooner or later. Well, Real Madrid are the, the currently interested club. Don't know why, because I mean, they've got Kaylor Navas, but he, he seems to be a continuous filler, which is a bit of a piss take, really. I, I ain't got no idea with that, to be honest. But with me, it is, again, like I can see that if there is no interest, he he is perfectly happy with re-signing for Chelsea. Mm. But with the quotes that have just come out, I do believe it just comes out as some sort of come and get me for the Madrid clubs. Just stir the pot a little well, what, bit. What are the quotes? Give me some of those quotes. Uh, I think the interviewer asked him, could your children's situation make a difference? And he said, if Madrid is really interested, my personal situation will affect yes. The familiar aspect is priceless, but I repeat that for the moment, I'm busy talking to Chelsea to renew. So, his focus is with renewing for Chelsea, but if Madrid come in... Well, uh, to be honest, fair, fair enough. If no, you, if you, no, no, come on, man. You've got, family comes first. Come I get that, but the quotes coming out right now, especially in the situation that we're in right now... I, honestly, mate, I think that's just we're just overthinking this. It's so overthinking. It. Like I I'd said, love to say saying, I'm overthinking it. Well, no, but, but, but I, I, it's just, it just comes out of a hint of it to me. Yeah, but Tiba Tiba Porto is never someone to hide. He never has been. When we've lost, he's been the one giving the interviews. He's the one saying we've been poor. He's the one that's come out and said we're going to do better. It is he, he is a Chelsea. He is a Chelsea fan. You know, he, he obviously we used to critique him, saying you know he thought it was a bit arrogant and he he wasn't really one of us. But the, the guy cares about the club. I get that, but, but this isn't really the first time. Look, I, I, there has, there has, I'm sure there's been plenty of times in the past where he, where he has come out in interviews and he has said things along the lines of this. Yeah, but fair, if your kids are in Madrid, you never see them. He's yeah. got two kids, man. Yeah, and I do respect that. I do respect that. But I don't think it's the right time to be talking about it. I don't, especially with... The situation with Conte and the media and everything, is this really the right time to talk about? I do understand the aspect that there are kids involved and I understand that if it is what's best for him, okay, but is it but going into the media about it? Well I mean Real Madrid and haven't exactly made their claims about uh, trying to sign him quite have they? I haven't kept it on the down low. They've got they've come out quite clearly on several occasions and said Real you know, Madrid. We Real Madrid, yeah. Yeah, and if so, so, so that's no, coming no, from no, Real Madrid. No, 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 put it this way. So if, if so Real Madrid puts something out in the media, yeah. it's not gonna be looked at like there's no offence like Akrid and Stanley, is it? I get it's that. It's not I gonna be that. like it is Real Madrid, it is mainstream. If, if Real Madrid come out to media about it, that's fine. 
Does Courtois need to come out by himself, especially at this point in time? No. Again, I fully respect that his children are, are in Madrid. And I, and I fully respect that it's got to have some sort of impact on him. But at this point in time, do you really have to be coming out to the media about it? Heaping more pressure on the club, heaping more pressure on Conte? I don't think so. If going back to Madrid is his heart's desire, fair play. I'm not, go I'm not, going, to, I'm not going to say, oh, he's disrespecting the club by, going, by doing all of this. Actually, no, that's what I'm saying. But why, I don't want to have any sort of hate on him for wanting to go back and be with his kids. That's what I'm trying to say. Right, yeah, exactly. I don't have any, I'm not going to say that because that's just heartless. Exactly. But this isn't the right time for it. And he has come out to media plenty of times. You would think that... No, but no, when is the right time for him to talk about moving to Madrid? Go on, you tell me when that is. During the summer. During the summer. Yeah. During the, so during the, when the transfer window is actually open. Not, not midway through the season. Not again at this point in time. With the situation that we're in. With all the pressure on... So, so what you're saying is, right, if Madrid came out now and he just kept quiet about it until the summer... Yeah. That would make sense. If you were put, if you were in, put it this way, to put yourself in Timo Courtois' shoes, all right? Yeah. So, your former partner and your two children are in Madrid. Yeah. Okay. The only time you speak to them, and you can speak to them, Skype, FaceTime. Yeah. Maybe, well, if you're on international duty, international duty, you probably barely see them. These, these are two young kids. Not only that, but also think about the social media pressure, the pressure from the club. I uh, pressure general media as well. Yeah. How many questions do you think he gets every day regarding Real Madrid or Atletico? How many? Hundreds, thousands possibly. Probably, yeah. So if 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 he comes and he, if someone asks him, he, he is the sort of man who is going to address the situation. He's not going to hide. He doesn't do that. If he says he's what he said is he's gone. Look, he, the other thing which you haven't you failed to mention yeah. is he said. And then one, do you think you can see yourself in Real Madrid? And he said, well, if Madrid won, we'd have to talk to Chelsea. So he's not disrespecting the club. He's saying, look, if they want me, they have to talk to them. It's not down to me. He's, all he's saying is he's going, look, my kids are over there. Yeah. If, if it comes down to it and they do come in with an offer and Chelsea accept it, then yeah, I will go. Because of my family. My family's important to me. And it's the same if, if you're a parent, if you're, if you're obviously we're at university, you know, yeah. we, our family is important to us, you know, they're, yeah. they're far away, we speak to them when we can. You know, it's the same with every single person, whenever you're away, wherever you are, you always try and stay in contact with your family. If he wants to be with his family, then so be it. I'm not questioning it, and I'm not saying, I'm, I'm personally not saying, I don't think he's disrespectful at all. I think the fact that he's the one that came out and does it, I just think it's just come out at the wrong time. Well, it's not, there is never is a right time, even during the transfer window. If there was a player who said, I want to move. No, during the transfer window. No, but if this was during the transfer window, someone would spin it and just say he's being disrespectful. No, but then I wouldn't agree with that. I wouldn't agree with that if it came out. Think about it like this. You know when Coutinho uh, hands in a transfer request the day before the, before the Premier League season started? Or when Riyad Mahrez hands in a transfer, hands in a transfer request apparently on deadline day? You'd look at that and you'd think, why the hell are you doing it now? If Courtois came in, came out in June or something like that saying, I, w I want to go back to be with my family, I'd be like, you know what, fair play, if you want to, if you want to go back and be with his kids, I can understand that. Mm. But again, coming out and saying that in, in what? In February? Mm. No. He, he could have held on to it for a few months. I, again, I keep saying, I fully understand he wants to be with his kids. I fully understand that he's got family in Madrid and he probably misses them. He misses them a lot. Yeah. But this, I just do not believe this is the right time to be talking about. This is the time right now where for all the players, you need to be focusing. At, especially in this period of time. We've lost our last two games. There's a hell of a lot of pressure on the manager. There's a hell of a lot of pressure on the players. Right now, fully focus. If I, if I was Courtois, I would be saying I only, I only want to speak about this uh, when the season is done. Right now, I want to focus on my football. Because right now, results aren't, aren't looking well, so well. Yeah, but he, then he did say that. He did say as well that he wants to play, focus on football and wants to play his football. That's what he did say. That's it. And not only, he's, maybe not those exact words, he says them along those lines, and he also said to completely misdirect the conversation what I said earlier. 
No, he said UK coach, but it's Chelsea. He, he, he is trying to divert it away from him because he wants to focus. He is a professional. He, he is there and he's going, look, it, it, if someone asked me something, for example, yeah, like, I don't know. So, if, if me and you were chatting, right, and Chelsea came and offered me a job, so yeah. we want you to be our media correspondent. You ask me, and I'd, I'd probably go, you know what, I'll have to see what I have to see, which is basically what Tim McCaws was saying. He said, I'll think about it, but right now I'm focused on this. Like, right now I'm focused on doing this, but if someone comes in and offers me a job, then I, if, it, if, it, if it's something that I, could, I could, would consider, I'd find a way to balance my life, I'd find a way to do what I need to do. See, but that's it's, I still think he's gone too much into it with that one. I, I would... If I was him, I would have fully diverted it. Not add to that little, that little grey area. Fully divert it and then make your intentions clear when the season is done. Mm. It's, it's not the right time for it. Yeah. Simply put, again, I, I keep repeating myself. I you understand, understand the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. But this is not the time. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's leave it down to these guys here. You guys, let us know what you think down in the comments section below. Do you think that what Tim McCourt I said was fair? Do you think that what he is uh, well, what he's doing is completely out of order? You know, let us know down in the comments section. Well, make sure you follow us on both our respective socials. We'll have a chat with you over there. Also, go down to that comment section. Leave us suggestions. What other types of videos would you like to see? Obviously, this week we haven't got, and I don't think next week either. We got any movie games this week? No, it's, two, it's Mondays. Uh, Monday West Brom. Some, no, Friday hold. Okay, well, you know, we'll have four, we've got some filler there. So if you guys want to see some videos, what type of videos do you want to see, leave it down in the comments section. But as I said, thank you 50,000 subscribers. Make sure you subscribe to when I turn Chelsea. Let's hit that next target, 75,000. Let's give them a deadline. Go on, 75k by when? Uh, should we say nine of the season? Let's say April. April? 75k by End of April. End of April, okay. If you guys can help us, 75,000 by the end of April, guess what? We'll do a giveaway. We're going to do that. Yeah? Yeah. Giveaway by the end of April. Yeah? So 75,000 by that point. If you hit beforehand, mate, you know, there's going to be more than one giveaway. Yeah. So, uh, obviously, do that. Hit that notification bell to know when we go live as well. Make sure to subscribe to us on Chelsea. Follow all our socials as well. Thank you for 10,000 followers on Twitter as well. That's huge. Thank you for that. And, uh, up to Chelsea. See you later.